Today's car review is Benjamin Moore White Dove versus Benjamin Moore Simply White. These are two of the most popular interior white paint colors that you can find online. And today, I'm gonna to break down these two paint colors and show you how they're different from one another. Also, I'm gonna show you why it's so important to compare these paint colors to other colors that you may have in your home. And I'm gonna give you three valuable tips that you should know before deciding to paint either one of these colors in your home. Picking the right interior white paint color for your trims, your ceilings, or your walls is a lot more complicated than you may think. It's not as easy as it looks, especially when you see all those beautiful pictures on Instagram, a blog, or a magazine. How many of you out there have painted your home with an interior white paint color and it just didn't turn out the way you hoped it would? Let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to hear your story. So, when it comes to white paint colors, it's the hot trend all across North America, but it's also one of the most misunderstood paint colors out there. So, having said that, I'm going to compare White Dove versus Simply White, and I'm going to show you how these two white paint colors are so different from one another. Watch this. Right here is White Dove, and watch what happens when I compare it with Simply White. Notice how White Dove has a little bit more depth to it. It's got a little bit of a yellow, it's got a little bit of a gray, and it's almost a grayish. Now, watch what happens when I put White Dove on top of Simply White. Notice how Simply White has a little bit more yellow to it, but it's not a stark white either. This is a classic example of two white paint colors that are considered an off-white because neither one of them commit to an undertone, but at the same time, they're completely different. It's one thing to know what these paint colors look like in isolation, but it's a completely different story when it comes to finding the right paint color for your room. So, I'm gonna show you why it's so important to compare either one of these white paint colors to the fixed elements that you may have in your home. I get a lot of people asking me, what would be the best white paint color that could go with my trims, my built-in cabinets, or my wall color? And the answer is, there is no such thing as a best white paint color for any room. So, having said that, do you want to know a little secret? So the secret to choosing the right white interior paint colors for your trim, ceiling, or wall color is to compare it to your fixed elements. Now, it's a lot harder than you may think because you need to be able to identify the undertones that you have in both your fixed and furnished items in any given room. So, having said that, I want to show you two quick examples to give you a better idea of what I'm talking about. So, let's say you have a kitchen and you want to paint your kitchen cabinets with simply white. You need to compare it to your fixed elements. In this case, it's going to be the kitchen countertop, and it looks like this. You have a bunch of cool undertones, and look what happens when I compare it to Simply White. It's not a good match. Or, let's say that you want to paint your trims in your open concept home. Well, you want to use White Dove, but the problem is, if you have a flooring that looks like this, it's a little bit of a pink and taupe, when you compare it with White Dove, what's going to happen is White Dove is going to pull out the pink undertones in your flooring, and this is not an ideal situation. So, this is why it's so important to compare either one of these paint colors to both your fixed and furnished items that you may have in your home. By the way, if you're new to this channel, feel free to subscribe. I give you valuable information just like you're seeing in this video. All right, let's get back to it. Tip number one, for all of you out there that are thinking about painting either one of these colors in a north facing room or any room that doesn't receive a lot of natural lighting, I would recommend to be very careful because a light paint color will never make a dark room feel brighter. Tip number two, for those of you out there that are in the process of building a new home, it's exciting, but at the same time, if you don't know what your interior decor is gonna be, and you haven't made up your mind on what your fixed elements are gonna be, I always recommend to wait because you can't compare your fixed elements blindly. If you do that, it can end up being a costly mistake. Tip number three, 
for those of you out there that are thinking about painting either one of these colors in your kitchen, I always say you must compare it with your kitchen cabinets, your flooring, your countertops, and backsplash to name a few. And by the way, don't forget about lighting because it's important that all the undertones pair well together or it could be a very costly mistake and I don't want that to happen to you. As you can see, white dove and simply white are two completely different interior white paint colors and white paint colors in general are complicated. What do you think of these two white paint colors? And if you have any experience of working with either one of these, I would love to hear your story. So let me know in the comment section down below. And by the way, if you need help on finding the right paint color and you want it professionally done, then feel free to check out the link in the description section down below. I show you how I can help you with any of my online packages, regardless where you live in North America. Until then, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.